It's Friday! Who can tell me what month comes after April? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Hey! What comes after April? May! We're in May now, so April showers bring May flowers! Yay! All right, so you should be seeing lots of new flowers um, out and about when you're out walking or when you're at your house with your garden there. Um, I'm sure you've already seen some, but I love this time of year. It's so wonderful, pretty. So anyway, we're going to read about a little bug that lives in the garden who thinks they know what it is. Um, if you said ladybug, you're right. Okay. We're going to read about a lazy ladybug. This ladybug just is so, so lazy. But something amazing happens towards the end, so pretty fun. Okay, um, let's move on. The Very Lazy Ladybug. This is our Friday fun book. This is the story of the very lazy ladybug. She liked to sleep all day long. I would love to sleep all day long, but there's just too many things to do. And all night. Because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybug didn't know how to fly. Oh no. One day the lazy ladybug wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybug had a very good idea. Hmm. When a kangaroo bounded by, what do you think's going to happen? She hopped into her pouch. Oh, so that kangaroo can take her places. But the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybug. It's too bumpy. So when the tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail. Oh no, what did she say? I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'll fall off into the river. So when a monkey dropped by, she hopped onto her head. But the monkey liked to swing, swing, swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear, but the bear liked to scratch. Get off there, ladybug. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. He'll never sit still. So when a tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too hot. So when the elephant walked by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, thought the lazy ladybug, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, what do you think is going to happen? Something happened. Ah, the elephant sneezed. Ah, choo! And the lazy ladybug had to fly at last. There was no other option. So good. So I'm going to go back and we're going to talk about ways to move, okay? 
So different words for ways to move. All right, where was the, okay, so it starts with the kangaroo. Bounded by, bound. Lots of way to move. Um, the tiger padded by. And the crocodile swam. And the monkey dropped by. And the bear ambled by. There's always to go by. The tortoise plodded by. And the elephant walked by. And the ladybug flew. Okay. So that's just kind of a fun kind of garden book that I enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, right, guys, so I want you to check out your email, your Facebook, um, look for those other resources. We had a group of um, community helpers put something very special together for us, so um, be looking for that, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Love you guys. Bye-bye.